What's going on, everybody? My name is FaZe Temper, and uh, I'm one of the newest members of FaZe. What's up, guys? FaZe Apex here. What's up, guys? This is Kamaj. So I decided to make this video to introduce myself. Yo, two guys, thanks. Um, I joined FaZe, which is fucking sweet. Part of our second annual FaZe 5 recruitment challenge. And there's so much more that they want to do. There's so much more that they want to expand on and improve on. FaZe House. So I'm here with Richard. Richard Banks, my new roommate. FaZe is fucking huge. What's going on guys, FaZe right here. What's going on guys, FaZe Blades right here. If you want to get better, and you play with your friends a lot, like you start up a clan, you're going to be getting a lot better if you play with them all the time. And that's what I plan on doing. I don't know, it's, it's pretty big for me. I'm glad to be on the team. Everything's going to work out, I promise you guys. FaZe was founded May 30th, 2010. The first ill cams was already out in, within the first week of June. Back in the day, there was a lot of little small teams that, that did sniping and stuff, but FaZe kind of took it to the next level by, by really trick shotting and making that the core of what FaZe did. Trick shotting was just a thing that had just begun. I remember the first time I saw my first, the first 360, my mind was blown. My whole world was just flipped upside down. I was like, there's no way you can play the game like this. This is just on a different level. This is something that I've never seen before. This is, this is sick. Like we need to be doing this. Like we, this is, this is us. That was what Ilkams was. Like every week when you would wake up for Saturday morning cartoons, people would feel the same way about Ilkams. And so they would be on Twitter waiting for the tweet to go up that the video went live or just waiting for the next Ilkam to drop. By 2012, we hit a million subscribers. That was one of my biggest milestones in my life. It was a monumental thing for us. Around the, you know, 2013, 2014, when Black Ops 2 was really popping, we started taking a different direction with our content making you know showing our faces which we never did really most of us didn't show what we look like for the first like three four five years of doing so thank you guys for watching subscribe to my channel if you're new and help me reach a million we couldn't rely on call of duty to to come out with a great new game every single year we had to do something else and step out of our our comfort zone and so we started um, integrating vlogs and and personality and making showing our faces more which Sounds like it's nothing big, but at the time it was a huge step for us. Nobody in our scene really vlogged and it wasn't really well received. Our fans did not want to see anything but Call of Duty videos, but we pushed through to make more content. We started doing skits, vlogs, real life challenges, and then slowly over time, face kind of started to evolve. And when we moved into a house in the end of 2014, we were the first YouTubers that from all different walks of life came into a house together in Long Island. One, one kid from Canada, one kid from Sweden, one kid from Boston, one kid from Brazil, one kid from California. And like, we were just all like kids that you would never see together, together physically together, living in a house, waking up every day and making, making YouTube videos. We're back in the face house. So I'm here with Richard. Richard Banks, my new roommate. Yes. Um, so I just got here now. There's Tommy, Tico, and Apex all chilling. We haven't really done anything with the house yet. I'm just vlogging. We literally here. just got back from Oos. New York house was amazing. It was just such a rare time. We were the first YouTubers to move into a house together. That was definitely like one of the best times of my life. Those were times in my life that I did not realize how special they were while we were in them. Are you recording now? So no, please don't don't be scared okay. of me. I can see the time. <laughs> Most of my favorite memories are from the New York Face House. Just because he was so pure, we were so young. Everything was just going and like the way we wanted to. We didn't really plan too much. We had no game plan. We were just being creative every single day doing stuff together. It was a little bit different back then. It was just a small group of us. And every single day, we did something new. You know, you got all these people from different walks of life. and different parts of the world, move into a house together just to make YouTube videos every single day. That was special. It was just so much fun. It was what we always dreamed of. Bringing in an audience that cared so much about us, you can't make that. 
you can't it's nothing that you can you can replicate you know what i'm saying it was so natural so organic it was just too much fun waking up every day in that house with six roommates we're all making videos every day we're all just motivating each other and helping each other and bonding and becoming very close friends it was amazing when i first moved to the new york house i wasn't gonna move i was just gonna like visit and just fly in like once a month and stay for like a week but then i went there and i was like Shit, was i wrong <laughs> i was like this is way too much fun it's like how the fuck Am I not gonna live here? What? The great thing about the phase house is that you can just walk into any room and there's somebody sitting right there that you can make a video with. Like right on the spot, right there. It's awesome, I love it. I love the atmosphere. It's awesome. Dope bite. I remember I was like, yo, I'm dumb if I thought for one second I wasn't gonna move into the open room. That was, it, it wasn't even a room. The room that I lived in in New York. It was built the day I moved in. They just put up two drywalls. There wasn't even AC in there. And the first time that I went to the house, I walked up the steps and I like, I had seen it in videos. I knocked on the door and nobody answered. I rang the doorbell a couple times, nobody answered. And I was like, it was so weird because for a second I was like, wait, is this really happening? Like. Am I really supposed to be here? And then um, Banks ended up opening the door and he welcomed me in. And it was just like the first time that I met him and it was, it was cool. And then everybody just came out and we just, we had cereal. It was a good time. It's a very good memory, very good memory. I actually moved into the FaZe house yesterday. As a janitor. Woo! As a janitor, apparently. No, but hey, I actually moved into the FaZe house. He did, he's, a, he's our roommate now. Pukes. I'm the new roommate. Dude, what are you doing back there, Apex? You just keep going, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we just were making such funny videos all together. Like we did like these like, Guess that YouTuber challenge where if you guess it wrong, everyone pour something on your head. It was just like something really, really fun to do every single day at that house. Scaring face adapt. What the fuck? One of the, I'm so happy I was a part of that. Everyone knows what that video is. It's I'm so happy I was a part of that with, with Norton. All the pranks at the house. <laughs> we got him good. Even if it wasn't just going out and doing something for content, like we were in the house, like zapping flies with like a fly swatter throwing knives at our wall, which was a really bad idea. Our landlord got pissed. And like, we would go to the park that was right by the house, play basketball, go get like bagels in New York and stuff. We would do that every day. So I definitely miss that house for sure. For esports, we started off as just YouTubers on Call of Duty. And you know, naturally, Call of Duty scene started expanding and esports and Call of Duty started becoming like a, a real thing. We'd go to the events, we'd have a great time with them, we became, you know, family with them instantly too. What's going on guys? My name is FaZe Temper and I'm here with FaZe Banks. We're here at MLG Anaheim 2014. We just got here. Uh, we're actually watching FaZe Red play uh, Curse Black right now. Um, it's been a crazy week and I'm looking forward to the rest of the day. That's the first time I met pretty much everyone in person and it was almost Every single FaZe member went, like Kay from England flew in for the first time. It was the first trip uh, all of us got together. Like, we were only online friends at this point. I think only Banks and Tommy had met each other in real life. So to come together and meet everybody in FaZe and actually see what they're like was kind of nuts. That was my first ever gaming event, and I think that was the first time FaZe Clan ever came together as a team, met up, and we rented an Airbnb in Anaheim. That was a thing about 20 of us staying in this like bungalow. We had a bungalow in Anaheim that had two bedrooms and 20 phase members. So it was hectic. We all clicked together as a team, as a family, and it was honestly one of the craziest experiences ever. We even went to Six Flags together. We did so much as a team for the first time meeting. We automatically just knew that we were family. The uh, CSGO major in Boston, it was the biggest event. It was literally the biggest tournament of the year. The juggernauts of the game. Put your hands together. For FaZe Clan! We had just gotten our team and we started like traveling and going to competitions with them. That was like very official for us to go into the CSGO scene. And then after that, it just was a snowball effect. Rainbow Six, PUBG, FIFA, and then recently Fortnite obviously. We loved playing the games, so we always loved to see our guys competing. It's the best feeling on the planet when our teams win events, so was natural and we're blessed to be in the position we are to have teams competing in so many games. We went from just gaming to gaming, you know, entertainment. And now it's like a lifestyle brand. We did a lot of, you know, clothing has been a big thing since 2011. We've been releasing clothing basically, but so a lot of this would not be possible without our sponsors that we've had. And it's really cool to have sponsors that we've grew up buying their products and never thinking we'd be able to collab with them. We started doing collabs with people like Champion, Kappa, Lyrical Lemonade, Clot. My personal favorite 
but probably be the Lyrical Lemonade collaboration. Those guys are all really good friends. So to come together, you know, to like internet conglomerates, I guess I heard Tov say those words, whatever that means. Two internet conglomerates. We're just two lit groups of people and we did a sick ass collaboration. One project that I'm extremely proud of that I worked on with FaZe is definitely the NFL collab. This was more recent, but the fact that FaZe Clan has turned into this crazy cultural brand that we're collabing with the NFL, the legit NFL. This is the coolest thing that we've done for me, for sure. You know what I mean? FaZe the f up, Pat's Nation for life. Love you guys. Steel Series is another one. We all would buy Steel Series products. Look. We all had Steel Series keyboards and mice already. In the New York house, that's what we play Counter Strike with every day. So, a couple years later, to be able to have our own face mouse pad with them and to be able to work with them this close is awesome. Now, I've heard your cry of distress, and I'm here to help. It looks like you could use a super cool face clan branded Steel Series mouse pad. <laughs> Some of my favorite projects are definitely the Steel Series commercial, um, definitely Hot Sizz, right? I love, you know, just being goofy on camera, acting, doing funny stuff, you know. I don't care to act like a clown. I'm always a clown, you know? I'll do whatever. Fortnite World Cup is just days away, and for me to win, I need to be in top physical form. So there's people like G Fuel who sponsored that first gaming house in New York that really helped us take off. You know what I'm saying? HTC. I mean, come on, HTC. This is virtual reality. Nissan. Are you joking? Who has not had Nissan before? Nissan is one of the most common cars you see. For us to have our jersey with a Nissan patch on it, it has just been mind blowing. Another memory I have is uh, the Fortnite World Cup. Definitely the World Cup in New York. New York, definitely. Fortnite World Cup. Obviously, the World Cup, right? The Fortnite World Cup. When I won the Creative World Cup with my team. The energy here and just how it's been going so far is just so amazing. I just know someone in phase is about to win. Your winners and creative world champions, the Fish Fam! It was really cool because, you know, I was making these death runs and I had this team of death runners, people who would practice on my maps, play on my maps. They were really nervous and naturally, you know, playing in front of millions of people. But I tried my best to keep them calm and just make it fun, right? I had more fun playing in it than I did winning it, I want to say, because I wasn't the one that clutched up. There was one guy, Zand, who actually clutched up, made the million dollar jump, right? He made the final jump to secure the win. And that was the most surreal experience. We started going crazy the second he won it. I need everyone on this bus to f congratulate this guy. Such a Last year, the New York World Cup. It's just crazy to see how far We've come, you know, because I've been a part of it from the beginning, damn near. Like, from when everyone started to really be like, all right, maybe we have something here. For us to be in New York, back in New York last year, and have thousands and thousands of kids flood the streets of New York City just to come meet us, that's just crazy. I think that was really the first moment when kind of the new era of FaZe Clan really felt powerful. We took over New York City and it really, you know, it showed that any town is our town. The best part about it was our fan meetup we did. Craziest day of my life was that fan meetup. Thousands of thousands of fans showed up on this little street in New York. It was the most adrenaline I've ever had pumping through my body. That is a day that I wish I could relive. My God! What the fuck? Where the fuck are we at? Bro, I have never in my life seen that many face fans in one spot. What, what is going on? What is happening? Where right are now? we at? X 
That was no. insane. In the middle of World Cup, we actually recruited um, FaZe Ewok. And that was like really cool to see because I was not expecting that at all. And it was just like cool just having her in FaZe, you know, like first girl, you know. Everybody's really wonderful here. So I can't face We recruited Ewok, our first female. Everybody, as far as like the members and even the people behind the scenes and like management, everybody was there and we we're all having a great time. That was like the first time in a really, really long time that everybody in phase was together. Um, especially like the, the core group who have hung out since it started. It was awesome for everyone to be there together just supporting everybody in FaZe. It was felt like a reunion. It didn't feel like there were that many people in FaZe Clan, but then we all sat down at dinner and saw everything we've been working on. Everybody be a part of it, everybody be there together. It was actually the most surreal experience. Winning the World Cup and then celebrating and having fun with everybody that I've grown to know over the internet was the best time of my life. I guess I'd say the project that I was most proud of being a part of FaZe um, was our pop-up. The first time I ever shopped on the street, it was actually with Adapt, Nikon, and some FaZe boys. Came up and down Fairfax and Melrose and I said, yo, we're gonna have a store on the street. Three years ago. We had like a pop-up for two months and we absolutely bought out. We had events there, famous rappers pulled up. It was, it was even a party. This is crazy, Lord. We met so many fans. The energy of the fans in this building is off the roof, bro. This is crazy. You guys are amazing. Nuts, bro. They bring the heat. There was so many fans coming out. We had like fans coming all the way like around the entire building. It was so awesome. Hi right, guys. What's up? I've never heard so that much. Was crazy. We gave out a bunch of merch, met so many new people. It was amazing, yeah, I just loved it. So you guys are all the way from Kentucky. What are you guys doing out here today? Um, I came to meet Sisters. She's my favorite. That's insane, they blew out. That's real love right there. That's nuts. It was amazing the turnout from the fans over the two months that we had it, and our team put in such an incredible effort, put it together, it was such a beautiful creation. And I don't know, I, I love creating stuff. I love bringing fans together, engaging people, and that was just an amazing thing to be a part of. How do you feel, bro? I don't know. I'm just a little shaky still. Literally, I was, bro. I had when we walked outside. I've just for the been first screaming, time, "Let's go!" All day. Let's go! Face <laughs> up. Let's My go. whole Instagram story. I'm pretty sure I said "Let's go" in every single one. The things we're doing, the brands we're working with, the brand that we're building is so large. Like I. It's hard to, you know, wrap my head around it. Baseline has already done a bunch of amazing stuff from clothing brands to like teaming up with like soccer teams and like uh, just basically branching out from esports and gaming in general. I think gaming has like transformed in like the past two years and being at the top of gaming is like huge for us because um, we could just expand into everything we want. Every single year there's so much happening. There's just so much more happening. Every, like year after year, that's just how it is. With the momentum we have right now, I seriously think nothing can stop FaZe and nothing will stop FaZe, so it's for sure going to take over the freaking world. Where do I see FaZe in 10 years? Damn, where do I see FaZe in 10 years? That's like the hardest question you could ask me. Where do I see FaZe in 10 years? Holy Jarvis. Oh, 10 years? Well, hopefully, with me still in it. <laughs> in 10 years, I see FaZe Clan literally taking over the world. We already are, right? Like, we literally already are. I see FaZe Clan as being this crazy dominant organization, as if we're not already on the top. I always tell myself, like, oh, we're never gonna top this. Like, oh, we're never gonna top Offset joining FaZe. We're never gonna top collabing with the NFL. But every single month, FaZe never fails to impress me. Dude, every single day, I feel like I wake up and there's something new. Anything is possible, literally. Like, there's so many things that we've done that we probably never thought that we would do. Collabing with all these artists, collabing with all these, like, celebrities, these athletes. I probably see, like, all the leaders in FaZe going on talk shows and stuff. Probably making, a doc like, a huge documentary, probably, like, on Netflix or something. I mean, considering where we are now, from trick-shotting and 
playing Call of Duty back home in Sweden or wherever everyone was at. Absolutely nothing is impossible and I know we are kind of riding this wave because no one has really done this for the first like before but I feel like we're also creating the wave. We're really starting to break the barrier of it just being you know fans who are gamers it's not it's starting to transition from people who are just passionate about gaming to people who are just passionate about all things that come with gaming like the whole entire culture which is what FaZe really tries to push. I think that FaZe can seriously be looked at in the same way that the New England Patriots are looked at or like Barcelona. I see us alongside the greatest historic franchises in all of sports and entertainment. I think that VR will be definitely more advanced, and I think we're going to be in that market. I mean, I don't know if it's a stretch, but imagine filling up an arena, and it's like a virtual reality. So instead of like the, imagine like the, you see two sides. Shit, bro, that's just, that's a hard. I don't know. Just a phase jet would be fire. Yo, a phase jet. Yeah, we need that. 10 years, we can make that happen. We've built an unbelievable brand. Look at it, I have the logo here, the logo here, the logo there. The logo is like in front of me in five different places. As long as we continue to make the right decisions and we continue to move forward in the right way, I expect us to be a very, very, very big brand that is well known around the world. I mean, we already are, but I'm talking about mainstream. Everybody knows what Face Clan is. By the time, 10 years, listen, all you guys watching, you're gonna be old, you're gonna have kids, so you gotta pass the message on to your children. Let's make this, come on. Some of you out there, you're gonna be in it with us anyways. Let's just keep growing this, all right? I could say endless things about Face Clan, especially personally for me. Before I moved to New York, my dad passed away, and just everybody in the house, Tommy, Apex, Banks, Rain, Alex, Tico, they were like super, super helpful with that. And they just kind of guided me through that and just kept me by their side. That's something I'm always gonna keep with me for the rest of my life. I feel like the bond that we have and the friendships that we've made, it's irreplaceable. The family side of FaZe Clan is the most important thing to me. Man, we're getting sentimental here. I mean, I really grew up in FaZe. Like, I really like became the person that I am today. They say that the closest 10 people in your life kind of make you who you are, personality. And for the past five years, that's always been fate. Yo, so fucking good. <laughs> There's like a few of us that can really say this. I've been here from the beginning, man. And you guys have literally changed my life, blessed me, blessed my family, blessed all the people around us with just supporting our dream. It's just a beautiful thing, the, the fact that we, we really created something out of nothing. Truly, I was just a kid when we first started doing this, and it's just unbelievable what we've built in the last 10 years. Th this is way bigger than all of us. This is bigger than anything I've ever imagined. I just want to say thank you for, obviously, especially Temper back in the days. Oh, get that back! No! What? No! Giving me the opportunity to move into the New York Face House when I technically didn't deserve it or wasn't really qualified for it, but they let me in. And one of the coolest things with this is the fact that I've built relationships with people from all around the world and people I would have never met before. This is my Swedish bro, Tico, and I'm blazing. I'm just happy to be here. It's super cool doing all these cool things all the time, but it doesn't even come close to like just hanging out with everybody. It all comes from phase. It all came just from kids online, playing video games, a group of kids who believed in themselves when no one else believed in them. And now, fast forward five, 10 years later, and this is where we're at, and it's just bizarre for me, especially. It's like, what? I've been in this gaming scene for a long, long time. And for as long as I can remember, FaZe Clan has always been right next to me. Everything that I've been into, there was always some FaZe homies into it as well. We turned FaZe Clan from a little gaming team to this awesome worldwide lifestyle organization and I couldn't be any more proud of myself being a part of it. All those FaZe guys out there, like literally every single one of you, thank you so much for helping me get to where I am because literally it wouldn't be possible without your help and your support, always having my back, whether I'm going through bullshit, whether I'm going through this or that, or doing anything, whether I'm feeling down, literally FaZe has always got my back because FaZe is a family and we always will be. I love FaZe, I thank everybody in FaZe for all of their contributions to FaZe and, and, and to 
of my life, to be honest, because like they've all helped me in different ways. They've all helped me grow in different ways. And it's really just the people in FaZe that make FaZe. So that's why I love FaZe. Yeah. Thank you to all the fans, because we would literally not be here if they didn't support us. Just all the support you show on like the videos and the love like you show us is just, it's just bomb, it's mind blowing. I love you guys, I love FaZe Clan. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us throughout the years and I can't wait to see what the future has. Phase up. Phase up. Phase up. Phase up. Phase up, baby. Love you guys. Phase up. Phase up, yes sir. Phase up. Phase the f up. Phase up. Phase up. Phase up. Phase up, peace boys. Phase the f up, baby. <laughs> Phase up. This is Face Clan 10 years. You already know. Nice. That's dope. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. The scores as well, the game's about to end, so uh, I'm just gonna close off here. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you watched the whole thing. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Face Temper, I'm out.